Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing something very special. I'm going to be going over my entire sealed collectible um, collection video. This is my 300 subscribers special. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First up, we have this Xenomorph uh, uh, figure. I don't know if this is like from a specific movie. Maybe it's just from like the Alien movie. Xenomorph Runner. Um, it's an articulated figure. I think I have two of these. Uh, I have one in a different color, but it's basically the same thing. I think that is the dog from the movie, but I am not sh completely sure about that. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool figure. I got this at Target for 20 bucks. Whenever uh, I, I come across a figure that um, I, um, I know where I got it from and how much it was, I will tell you guys. But a lot of these figures are just going to be like, I don't, I'm going to say I don't know about a lot of them. So uh, be prepared for that. Next is, I've never seen Man of Steel. I know this is from Man of Steel, though, because it says it right there. Um, I got this for $9.99 at a comic book shop in Ocean City uh, on the boardwalk in New Jersey. Um, this is a pretty cool figure. I, I, I didn't really see Man of Steel, but I thought this was a cool figure for 10 bucks. box is pretty roughed up. There's some dust, if you can see that. I, I still have to dust a lot of these off. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Next up is, I think this is Dark Side. I got this at Walmart in the clearance section for four bucks. Um, this is a pretty hefty one too. I don't know what it's made out of. I'm pretty sure it's just plastic, but I figured this is a good, this is a good figure to get for only four dollars. Next up, all the way out here is this Xenomorph head. This is the head of the Xenomorph from Alien. This I got for on clearance at Target for twenty-two bucks. This is pretty cheap, all things considered. I think originally it was like 40 or 50, maybe 45, but uh, it's just a head, but it is made out of um, die cast metal, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Next up, absolutely no idea where I got this. I have like, I have no intention to paint this, but this is probably my least favorite out of my whole collection. I don't hate it or anything. It's just like not something that I would have gotten myself. It showed up at my house one day. I tried to figure out whose it was for the life of me. For like a year, I, tr I reached out to everyone I knew. I was like, hey, is this yours? I reached out to my neighbors, everything. Uh, nobody said it was theirs. So I was just like, you know what? Screw it. It's mine now. So this is probably the second biggest collectible I have. This is the robot from Forbidden Planet. This was only $15 and it makes noise and lights up too. Um, somewhere. I forget where. It's out of batteries, I think. But, um, it's a really, really nice figure, um, from that movie. And it was only $15, so I decided to, uh, to pick it up. Next up is the Ant-Man and the Wasp figure I got for maybe $15. I don't remember. Uh, the price tag, it was on here somewhere, but I think it's off now. This is either ten or fifteen dollars, but I got this on sale at uh, that same comic store where I got the Man of Steel figure at, and I figured I'd pick this up as well because it's a cool looking figure. And I, at the time, I did not have any uh, Marvel Legend series figures, so I thought it was pretty cool. I don't have many Funko Pops. I have like a like maybe twenty something of them. It's not going to be like a huge part of the video, but this is the uh, main villain from the first Doctor Strange movie. And uh, he was on sale. A lot of this stuff has been is going to be on sale. I'm not going to say if for every single figure, oh, it's on sale, it's on sale, it's on sale. I'm just going to show you guys it, and then I'm going to move on to the next one. So, yeah. This is kind of an odd one. I have two of these like this. I have this one, and I have a Pac-Man one. But this is a Mario... Um, mushroom light this is like a night light i guess but it doesn't plug into the wall it just takes batteries um hence why i've never taken it out of the box um if it did plug in i would absolutely take this out of the box and use it but because this was only like f at five bucks at five below it's not going to last a while i figured i'd just keep it in the plastic next up is this huge thor the dark world figure i got this at a comic shop for 15 dollars um it's more of a statue than it is a figure but i'm going to count it anyway so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool, I think. This is Jana from Star Wars. This was 10 bucks at a local comic book shop near where I live. Um, I'm not sure which movie this is from. I, I'm not a huge Star Wars guy, but I, I know that um, 
there's been a lot of TV shows recently, so maybe this is, uh, maybe it's from um, one of the movies. I'm not sure if it says in the back. Um, no, it does not, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up is a Spider-Man card that I got for $5 at Target. It is a 2007 Ford GT, so that is pretty cool. Next up is something from Halo Infinite. I think this was $20, maybe $25. Um, this is the Banished Ghost with Elite Warlord. This is a vehicle figure, which I really like. Um, this is a pretty cool one, I think. Uh, nothing on the back except for that picture, but yeah, this is a pretty cool looking figure. I figured I'd pick it up since I like the first Halo game. This is just something I thought was neat. This, These are like... These aren't really, like, I don't know if they're considered collectibles. They're more just, like, knickknacks. Uh, this is a very light uh, car. I'm not sure if it's from a series or something. But, um, yeah, this is just, uh, looks like it's from a in a different language. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Got this for five bucks at Barnes & Noble. Um, I've never played this character in Overwatch. I have, um, I have Overwatch. Haven't played the second one yet, but I have played the first one have not played this character yet. I refuse to play the second one because apparently it's just really bad. So uh, yeah, that's a cool, still a cool figure though. Next up, I have a few of these kind of figures. This is King Shazam from DC. I, I, I got this also at a discount, but this is a pretty cool looking figure. Um, I think this is, these aren't like necessarily from movies. These are just from the comics, I think. And you can tell it's Shazam because of the lightning bolt right there. Um, although Black Adam has the same thing, but. It says Shazam on there, so... Oh, $25. Maybe, maybe... I, I, I don't remember paying $25 for this, but maybe I did. This, I think, is a knockoff Transformer figure. Look at that. It's just sealed in cardboard. Um, I have no idea what this thing is. Everything on it is in Japanese, but it does have some instructions on the back on how to, um... How to transform it. These are pretty cool. Um, fairly cheap for what they are, but I think, I think they're neat. These are History of the Daleks number two collector's set. I think this is pretty expensive now. At the time, this was a gift, but uh, at the time when they were fairly cheap on Amazon for maybe thirty dollars. But um, now they're this this um, set specifically is about a hundred dollars. I think so, quite pricey. We've got a Spider-Man Far From Home figure, um, not really painted too well, but again, I got this for like three bucks. Um, has a cool web shooter though, so that's pretty neat. This um, is just a Wonder Woman, um, I guess just a paperweight, but um, I got this at Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble does a lot of things like this. It's, um, they'll, you know, have like tiny boxes of the exact same size made by the same company, but they'll be like different things. Like I have an Iron Man head like this. I have a Back to the Future hoverboard like this. Um, they, they do a lot of these kind of things. I don't really watch My Hero Academia, but I know it's a pretty popular show, so I picked this up recently, I think. And I like anime, and I like Funko Pops, so I figured I'd I'd pick this one up. Ant-Man Car. Ant-Man Car. This was uh, more expensive than your average Hot Wheel, probably because it's uh, made a little bit better. Um, but I do like these, these Hot Wheels that are a little... Oh yeah, four bucks. Usually Hot Wheels are like 99 cents, but I really like these um, these sort of uh, different styled Hot Wheels, especially this Ant-Man one is pretty neat looking. Here's that Pac-Man light I was talking about. Um, I did want the normal Ghost one, but they were out of those. Or maybe I just forgot to get that one, and maybe I just got this one, but um, that's a pretty cool one. It's Yeah, it requires AA batteries, or AAA batteries, my bad. And, uh, yeah, you can't plug it in, which is why I'm keeping it in the plastic. Agent 13 from Captain America Civil War Funko Pop. Um, this one is pretty neat looking. Uh, again, Funko Pops are just bobbleheads, essentially. Glorified bobbleheads, I like to call them. Um, I guess out of these, I like Giant Man. Because I do like the big, the big Funko Pops better than the small ones. Next up is Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. I've only seen a couple episodes of it, but I watched it with my friend, and I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty neat, so I decided to pick up this cool-looking figure. I, I figured five bucks for this figure is pretty pretty great. Um, these figures were probably very expensive back in the day when 
uh, that show was very pop. I mean, it's still popular, but less so now. Next up is a Pikachu Funko Pop I got from a comic store in Philly. That's a pretty cool looking one. Now, I don't know if this is bootleg or not. This is a Sakura figure from Naruto. Um, I don't think it's bootleg because it does have the, but I mean, if you look at the face, I mean, there's no eyebrows and the paint, the paint is pretty wonky, but I got this for $15 at my local comic book store and maybe it does have eyebrows. May, I, maybe they're just not invisible, but yeah, I have no idea if this is bootleg or not. Someone in the comments let me know. These Animal Crossing figures are take on the style of the uh, Calico Critters with those little little fur things on them. Um, I got this also at Barnes & Noble, so that one's, I think it's really cute. I just like this one. This is like a Lego off-brand. It's not like, I mean, I like to call it knockoff Lego, but it's not really a knockoff. It's just more something that copies Lego. Um, nothing I'm really too interested in, but I figured I'd pick it up at Walgreens just because just I, I thought it would look neat in my collection. These are much cheaper than Funko Pops, but in my opinion, I think they're better. This is a Infinite Deku with Airy. I don't know what that, none of those words mean anything to me because I don't watch My Hero Academia, but it, I mean, they are Funkos, I guess. They, I guess they are Funkos, but I like these much better than uh, Funko Pops. Here's Raichu, Raichu Funko Pop, very nice looking. Pick this up at GameStop, the GameStop near me is closing, so they're having a closing sale. It's buy one, get one free on all yellow sticker items, and buy one, get one free, or buy three, get one free on every um, other normal um, thing. So and that includes like Pokemon cards, everything like that. So I took advantage of that sale and got myself a uh, Wonder Woman figure. Here's another one of these, uh, Friend Dolls from uh, my uh, Animal Crossing, the official Nintendo seal that's how you know it's legit. More off-brand Legos. Make it blocks. Never heard of those before. Here is a Yoshi Mario Kart. I like this figure quite a bit. Um, this is at five below. They sell a lot of these at five below. Uh, pretty cheap considering what they are. Um, I think these usually go for a little bit more considering they have the uh, Nintendo seal on them. They are wind back cars, but I, I just figured I'd get it because it's a nice looking figure. So um, I got a lot of these Ready Player One Funko Pops because back in a uh, few years ago, uh, they were in the discount bin at Barnes & Noble, so I, I picked up a lot of them. They were half off from 10 bucks, so they were $5, and I have the 10% off discount, so they were 60% off. So I figured I'd take advantage of, of that. I think I have an Iron Man one like this, but I'm not sure. This is just a, a Thor Hot Wheels I thought looked pretty cool, so I picked it up. Uh, no price or anything, but I'm sure it was fairly cheap. Mini Fortnite figure. Uh, this was cheap too, but for what they are, uh, I got this on clearance, but for what they are, these things are pretty expensive. They're like 10 bucks for a tiny little figure. Uh, no way in the world would I have spent $10 on this, but I mean $3 for what I got it for. I think that's pretty good Here is a Justice League Batman figure. I got that at the, the, the uh, dollar store. That's pretty cool looking Here's a weird one that I've never heard of before uh, NECA sculpers or scaler. Sorry. This is a Batman one. I got this out of a blind bag once I think it's pretty interesting I got this at a thrift store in, uh, n not New York, what am I saying? Uh, I got this, all the Johnny Lightning stuff, I got it at a thrift store on in Ocean City, uh, New Jersey. Johnny Lightning American Chrome. Uh, this was fairly cheap. I don't remember how much it was. Maybe it was $3, but these are a little more high-end than uh, Hot Wheels are. I've only very recently started collecting Calico Critters because I think they are absolutely adorable and I love them. This is a family of kangaroos and the mother has a little baby in the pouch and the sewn on pouch with it, which I think is adorable. These are dollar store exclusives in America, I think. I have two of these. I mean, I have like 20 of them. I have the whole series, but I've opened all of them. Um, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm keeping a few of them, my favorite, sealed. This is, I'm not sure what this is. It does look like the Demigorgon from Stranger Things, though, which is pretty cool. 
Here's the other one. It's sort of a robot alien looking thing. It's the synthoid. That's pretty, is it? Oh yeah, hive class synthoid. But on the side it says that, so I'm not sure what it is. Here's a Dalek um, paperweight bobblehead sort of thing. But the thing is, um, you can take the bobblehead part off. So if you do that, it's just like a nice Dalek figure, um, which, which is like really nice because I, I love me some Dalek figures. Here's quite a large one. This is a Batman Funko Pop, normal sized Funko Pop in bigger packaging with the Batman thing or the Batman number one artwork in the background. Um, just about a little more expensive than a normal Funko Pop, but I thought, hi, you can see me, but I thought, I thought it was a cool, I thought it was cool to pick up. This is just an expansion for an X-Wing thing. I don't really need to go through this. This is just a Hot Wheels. I don't really need to go through this. This is like a dollar. Now, again, just like the Dalek thing, this is a, a game on its own, but again, these are just also really nice figures. Like it's just it's a st it's a balancing game like a stacking game but it, it's also just a really nice figure of Mario Luigi and then the two some of the two enemies so yeah I thought that was really cool. This was on sale I don't really know what it's from, but I thought it was a cool looking figure so I decided to pick it up. This is from something called Outcast. Not sure what that show is but it was originally thirty dollars which is very expensive for something like this but I picked it up for less than ten I think. So that was a pretty good deal. Star-Lord Pez Dispenser. Star-Lord Pez Dispenser. Here is a dollar store Aquaman figure. And I think for a dollar, these things are actually fairly cool. Here's something I picked up for a dollar at a thrift shop. I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a helicopter, and I, I thought it was pretty cool, so I picked it up. Here is a Captain America statue. Collectible diorama. This was $15. A little pricey, but... It was a local store, so I decided to support them. This was in New York, I got this. Don't need to go through this, knock off Hot Wheel. We've got an Ant-Man figure from Five Below. It has uh, Ant-Man like shrinking right there. That's not a figure, I don't think that's just like a flat sort of thing. They all come with weapons, and since Ant-Man doesn't really have a weapon, I, I thought they, I, they fi I thought, you know, they figured they'd just, you know, show a little thing of him getting tiny, which isn't great, but it's five, it was a $5 figure, so I decided, why not? This I got at a store for three bucks. It's a Captain America paperweight. Um, this is pretty cool looking. I don't know, I, I like little knickknacks like this, even if they are, even if they have no value, I just, I think they're pretty neat. Here is an Iron Man figure, maybe from Five Below. I can't exactly remember, but might have been from Target, but I, I'm not really sure. He has, kind of has a weapon, kind of not really. It's uh, That's like his blast laser thing that he uses on Hulk, I think, in that movie. when he's. It's like the ice thing he uses on Hulk, I'm pretty sure, when Hulk uh, snaps his fingers and brings everyone back. Now, I'm not huge on Star Wars, but I do know who this is. This is Finn. He's from the uh, sequel trilogy. He's one of the main characters. Uh, I, I've seen The Force Awakens, which was pretty decent. I saw, I also saw Rogue One, which is pretty good, Han Solo, which I didn't like that much, and I did not see The Last Jedi, but I saw um, Rise of Skywalker, which I did not like at all. Here's a Batman figure from the Dollar Store, and here's a Wonder Woman figure from the Dollar Store. Here's something I picked up at the bookstore, not on sale, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's a uh, Golden Hulk uh, Funko Pop. Here is a Funko strategy game, Funko vs. strategy game, uh, but it does have figures in it, so I did count this as a sealed collectible since I guess board games can be considered sealed collectibles. I don't really collect them, but this had figures in the display, so I counted it anyway. Here is a cool looking Star Trek figure. I think this is from the 90s. Uh, this is someone getting beamed up. I got this for eight bucks at my local comic book store. Um, I forget what year this is from, 90s? Yeah, 98, which is pretty cool looking. It's got like a thing in there. I guess you can press something. I'm not sure what that's for, though. Beam, it says beam me up. I'm not sure if there's like a button or something I'm supposed to press. Doesn't look like it. Oh, nope, there's like a slight light, if you can see that. It's like a very slight light, but um, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working anymore, but that's okay. It's an old figure. This is a really heavy Funko Pop for some reason. This is Venomized Thanos. I don't know why it's so heavy, but um, maybe it's because of the head. I'm not sure, but this was 10 bucks, so that's a pretty good price for one of these, one of these things. Fortnite figure. Fortnite figure. Here's an awesome Megatech Dino. <laughs> Clearly a knockoff Transformer, but it was like, I think it was pretty cheap. Um, I thought it looked cool. I'm just going to be, I'm a, I am sound like a broken record saying, oh, I thought it would look cool. It looked cool, so I bought it. Whatever. It's my, it's my show. I'll do whatever I want. Here is the biggest collectible I own. This, I got this for 25, maybe 30 bucks. Originally, it was like 60. But this is from Star Wars, uh, the Black Series. This is Rey's speeder. It has her speeder inside of it, and it has a figure of her and her, um, little uh, walker thing and her some accessories as well so i thought this was absolutely awesome especially at the price this was at so i decided to pick it up here is one of many spawn figures that i have or one of a few not many but um that's a sticker yeah it is um this makes noise i think it requires two double a batteries or two triple a batteries my bad but this was half off from 16 so i decided to pick it up here's another spawn figure i thought was pretty cool looking that is, I, I don't know really anything about Spawn, but I, I think the figures are, look pretty awesome, so I have a few of them. Here's that other statue I was talking about. This one is an Iron Man statue. Um, again, these aren't really, I guess they might be figures. They might be, yeah, that looks like it is articulated, actually. But I, I do count them as, as um, statues because, again, they do have the, uh, the bases and the, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I guess they're like a mix, I guess. Here's probably my favorite Spawn figure that I have. Um, this thing is pretty awesome looking. Gold Label, McFarlane, Toys. Um, this is pretty This is pretty awesome looking. This is maybe a Target exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure, but I just, I absolutely love this thing. I've been meaning to play The Witcher, but I haven't yet. I got this for maybe $12, $8. I think it was $12. Um, but I got this at a discount at either Walmart and Target. I can't remember. I keep meaning to play it, but I just haven't yet. Here is a Animal Crossing Amiibo. This is Celeste. Um, this is a pretty cool looking one. Here is a Shadow the Hedgehog car that I picked up at um, the boardwalk. No idea what Contest of Champions is. It's a Marvel thing. I'm, yeah, it's a Marvel thing. It says it right there. But um, no idea who Golatina is. Just picked it up because it was cheap. <laughs> looks cool I don't know here is another Animal Crossing amiibo this one is Rossetti I don't think he's in the newest game but I still think he's a pretty cool looking one here is a Hello Kitty in a bowl of cup and a cup of ramen noodles uh, this thing is adorable so I absolutely had to pick it up another Johnny Lightning um, car this is a Corvette this comes with its own special little collector's box which is awesome here's something neat um, Power Rangers collectible figure series two. This is the only one I have of this. It was like five bucks at a thrift sh thrift store, and um, this is not a, a bootleg. This is genuine Power Rangers. It says it right there. Um, I did not get the whole. I did want the whole series, but I figured I'd just pick up this one since it looked cool. Here is another Halo figure. It includes a game add-on for Halo Infinite. Um, yeah, I don't know. These figures, Halo figures tend to be very high quality, so I don't really take them out of the packaging, even though they would probably look good out of the packaging. Um, a lot of figures I do tend to keep sealed, but most of my figures are out of the packaging. I might do a video at some point of, of all my figures that are out of the packaging, but that would take hours and hours to go through, so maybe I won't do that. Now, I'm, I, I love, absolutely love tiny collectible, uh, cars. And this is awesome. If you'll take a look here, this has the classic, these, these are some of the classic um, TV Bat, Batman um, things. That Batmobile is awesome. These are, th these are pretty heavy too. Um, they have a Fast and Furious one like this and one from the new Batman movie, The Batman. But I decided to pick this one up since it's, it was, they were my favorite one. The, bleh, they were my favorite looking ones. World's Smallest. This is a Monster Truck Hot Wheels. Pick this up at the boardwalk. 
Here's a cool looking classic Star Trek figure. This one I think is from the 90s, but I picked this up for pretty cheap at a thrift store. Let's see what year this is from, 1995. So a 1995 Star Trek figure that comes with its own collectibles card and it's sealed in there. So that's pretty cool. So I may as well open this one up because as you can see, it's not connected to the thing anymore, but I'm still gonna keep it. Oh, nope, there it goes, there we go. We got it, we got it. So this is five bucks, pretty uh, big figure. I think it was only five because it's maybe not the highest quality, but it's made out of, you know, metal. So I thought it was cool. Here's another micro minifigure uh, sort of things. This is Displacer Beast from Dungeons and Dragons, if you can see that. Uh, yeah, I love these little uh, micro minifigure things. This is probably my favorite one that I own. And here's a Hellboy one that I picked up at the same place. That's a pretty neat looking one. Something I picked up at Walgreens, I think. And here's a Transformers figure that was pretty cheap, pretty cool looking. Here's a little collectible car, pretty cool looking, um, motorized. I don't. I think it's just a pullback car though. Got this at a thrift store, obviously, because of the damaged packaging. Another one of these Fortnite figures that I picked up at I think Target. Here is a pretty cool looking Black Panther figure that I got at Five Below. That is uh, one of the higher quality Marvel figures that I've seen like this. Here is a cool looking dragon that I picked up yesterday for four bucks. This is. I don't know what series, well, Dragon War, I guess, is the series is from, but um, don't know if this is like an off-brand of something. I don't know why it was so cheap. Maybe because it's not painted, but I, I thought it was cool looking. I don't know what year it's from exactly. It doesn't say, but yeah, I thought it was neat looking, so I picked it up. Here's another Calico Critters. This one is, I think, a mouse, maybe. Does it say? Marsh Marshmallow Mouse, there we go. This, I think, is the only one where it doesn't have a clear thing on it. Like, it doesn't have, like, a like a window showing the figure, but this, it is in here. This is a, this is a car from the 1930s. These are pretty cheap, but these are very light, which is why they're so cheap. But I thought they were cool looking. They were on sale. $3, I think. Worth it. Now here's something that I think is awesome. This I got for free because it was buy one get one free at a GameStop. Got that Wonder Woman figure and then I got this. This was pr pretty awesome. This is a diorama of Tyrantrum or Tyrant and Zubat. Um, so that's pretty cool looking. Here's another sick looking spawn figure that's pretty awesome looking. This guy's got like a bunch of like weird looking armor on which I think is pretty cool. Originally $9.99, I got it for half off of $16. Um, Woolworth. What's a Woolworth? Is that, is that an Australian thing? Maybe, I'm not sure. And here's another model car. Only one bin of toys left to go. Here's that other Xenomorph I was talking about earlier. This one is pretty cool looking. Uh, I think I prefer this one to the other one. This one is blue looking. This one is cooler, I think. It was like $10 at Walmart. Walmart, Walmart exclusive, if you, can, if you can see that up there. So that is pretty awesome looking. So this is $15 at my local game store, but uh, this is a board game. Um, I'm not sure what game it is. It probably says on here. I'm not sure. Uh, but it, it's just Ultron's head, which I think on itself is just a cool figure. So I decided to get it. Here is another Ready Player One uh, Funko Pop. As I said earlier, I have quite a few of these. Probably the m most pricey figure I have. This is a sealed remote control Dalek. I think I got this for a hundred something dollars. None of my figures are terribly expensive, except for the ones that are out of the packaging. Some of those are pretty are pretty pricey, but this is probably the most uh, collectible figure that I have, like the most expensive one. Here is a Nightwing, wing, bleh, Nightwing figure I got from Barnes & Noble for five bucks. Don't remember where I got this. Don't even remember getting this. I didn't even know I had this. <laughs> I don't remember getting this, but this is a pretty cool looking Star Wars figure. Got this from a Loot Crate when that was still around. This is from Detective Comics number 400. This is just a, like a Batman car, but... Um, it's actually a really heavy figure. This is like a diorama, I guess. 
and I thought it was pretty neat. I really have to dust off my figures before filming. I think I got this for like three bucks. Uh, this is a Doctor Who P. Ting figure. I don't watch the new Doctor Who. I used to watch the Matt Smith era a lot, though. Here is another Ready Player One figure, or Funko Pop, sorry. Here is a golden Doctor Strange figure, which I think pretty is pretty cool looking. Here's a pretty neat looking one I got from Five Below. This is a uh, SpongeBob figure. This is from the Halloween episode, I think, where he cuts off his head. And uh, at the end of the episode, it reve he's revealed that uh, when he takes off the blanket, it's just a brain underneath and eyes. Uh, one of my favorite episodes, honestly. Here is a raptor from Jurassic World. We're almost through this, I promise. Here's a werewolf, probably my heaviest Funko Pop. I got this for five bucks in Maine, actually. Another Star Wars figure from the Black Series. A lot of these have been going on sale recently, probably because I guess the movies aren't that popular anymore. Probably the coolest looking figure I have. This is Batman from the Justice League movie. I didn't like Joss Whedon's Justice League movie at all, but this was a this is a pretty cool looking figure. Probably the biggest discount I ever got was this. I got this for five dollars if you can believe it. Comes with a game and everything and ships and DLC. Originally seventy-five dollars if you can believe that. So that is pretty awesome. This I think connects to a phone app. This is Rose. It's a force length thing. I'm not sure what it's for, but it was a pretty cool looking figure, so I picked it up. Here's a little cute looking enemy from Sonic the Hedgehog. I absolutely adore Blathers from Animal Crossing. He's one of my favorite characters, even though I haven't played Animal Crossing yet. I do want to play it, though. I, I've not gotten around to it yet, though. Another one of these Force Link figures from Star Wars. Pretty neat looking. This, I'm not sure. This is Elektra from that terrible Daredevil movie. Well, I don't think it's from the movie. I think it's probably just from the comics, but nonetheless, it was cheap, so I picked it up. This was $3. Don't watch The Walking Dead, but this is a very high quality figure, so I figured I'd pick it up. And uh, yeah, pretty cool looking. Here is Kylo Ren from The Force Awakens, five bucks again. Pretty awesome looking. Here is Iron Man. That's pretty awesome. Second to last one is a Ready Player One Funko Pop. And unfortunately, we're not ending on anything special. This is another Ready Player One Funko Pop. So that's all of my sealed collectibles. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.